What's going on guys? Matthew here with another video. Where am I at? I'm at work. <laughs> of course. An odd day to say the least, but definitely want to stay consistent with these uploads. Help you guys out, especially the ones that are hired. Congratulations. But with that being said, I had an incident happen today. It's happened before, but it gave me an idea about this video. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. The topic of this video is gonna be five things you wanna be careful for when you're out here on the road. Um, these are especially for the new drivers. If you've already been you know, in any delivery business, you already know how it works, that we don't have too much time in our hands. And as soon as we're sitting in this car and we're off, it's a busy day. Um, I don't think there's really no such thing as a light day when it comes to work um, in the delivery business. Oh, let's just say there's always something to expect. Peak just being over, you can see my van is pretty filled up still. But I call it an easy day, but for somebody else it might be busy. So, right, so we're going to start off with number one, which is <laughs> do not like yourself in the vehicle. Or I should say, do not lock yourself out of the vehicle. Um, being new, you're gonna be getting in and out of your cars. Uh, the rule is you're supposed to take the keys with you, but it just makes no sense. You're gonna be in and out so many times. Um, if you're, especially if you're an Amazon, you're getting out so many times out of that chair, opening the door, sliding the back door. Your shoulder will actually start to hurt. I remember when I was using the, the Amazon van, I would use the, the sliding door a lot. And my shoulders started to mess up and when I was working at Amazon I was I was a uh, pretty fit so that's saying a lot but you definitely don't want to lock yourself out of the vehicle it's one of the worst things you can do you could be having the best day ever a good route you know nobody's you know on your bad side and then boom there you go you're locked out of your car and you have to wait for somebody to come and help you out <laughs> It's happened to me before, uh, not with Amazon and here, not at FedEx, when I was a contractor at, at Granger. And what I what I like to do or what I recommend is that you leave your window open. Um, and you wanna make sure what vehicles lock after you drive off and what others don't. Like I had a U-Haul for the longest and that vehicle won't lock unless I pushed it in by accident. So you gotta be careful for that too. All right, so for my second one, is don't leave your doors open while you're out here on the road. And I know it might it might sound kind of crazy and I'm laughing, but I'm serious too. Do not leave the doors open. This happened to me where I've driven off. I think I was inside of a, I was in a tunnel. It was like where Verizon, I think that's what it was. I was in a tunnel and when I shot back up the ramp, my doors, I didn't close them right and they flung open and all my packages started falling out. I was doing a delivery route. What did I have to do? I had to go stop my car. Cars were behind me. And I had to just put them back in and people were making fun of me. <laughs> well deserved because I shouldn't have, uh, I should have checked my doors. It's a lot easier now to know when your doors are open. Like in this van, it'll let me know rear doors open. But I was driving like a 2000, GMC, it was a really old vehicle. And those U-Hauls, you know, the box trucks, you have the the, sli the sliding door, which those things don't alert you either. So you gotta be very careful when uh, doing that. You wanna be in a good routine and making sure that your door is closed. If not, especially for me having a pickup route and my van is almost full to the top, you gotta be really careful, so. I, it sounds so like, why would I leave my, I, I know how to lock a door, I know how to close one. But when you're getting in and out of the vehicle so many times, you might forget. So always just do a checklist of that. I do that even still today where I'm just getting in and out of the car and I want to make sure that that door is not left open. Because I'm be, I ain't trying to get in trouble. I like my job. Number three, before I go ahead and pick up this stop. Avoid backing up if possible. I know sometimes it's impossible. Some of my uh, stops, it's a dock, so I have to back in. But uh, one of the things, 
when you're doing is when you're backing up you can't see what's literally behind you and like i said from experience i pulled up at a public storage and i was in a rush because i was falling behind at granger backed up and <laughs> rammed a nissan ultima just straight in its face and i heard it that was just the face i made right now is just kind of how it was i was like oh man this is the worst thing that can happen guy came out super mad you know pissed off at me i felt so bad and that's what i get for being in a complete super rush trying to get home but you definitely if you can avoid it avoid backing up um, like i said there's sometimes you're gonna have to just always check your mirrors if you have a backup camera check that out too uh, not every vehicle that i drive here at fedex has a backup camera so you just want to be be very careful when backing up. It's something that they teach in the class, and I really think that was true. I think at Amazon, they don't let you back up at all. So I don't, I don't think that's right. But I think if you're backing up, it should be taught the right way, and you should be very careful whenever you have to. So that's number three on my list. <laughs> All right, number four. Kind of what I'm doing right now. Well, I'm not in a busy area. Is don't be afraid to park anywhere you have to. We're delivery people. We're in and we're out. Even if that's in front of handicap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not not if it's in front of handicap. I mean, be mindful of that at least. There's people that will get really pissed off with that one. But if you got to park in front of some cars and you're in and you're out, go ahead and do it. Don't worry about what people say. They tell you some, say, hey, I'm FedEx. I'm out in 30 seconds. Takes any longer than that? Oh well, you're gone. <laughs> uh, there's been people that are getting mad at me, have gotten mad at me, and I'm just like, hey, I'm sorry. And I apologize. It's just, from, it doesn't make sense for me to go park in the Walmart parking lot and then come pick it up inside. Um, the Walmart's probably not a good example because they have a bay or back area we can go to, but anywhere that's a business usually that you go to the front. Just park there, grab your stuff, you'll be all right. And number five, it's the last one I'm gonna do. And if you want a part two, let me know. Is This is for us pickup people. I mean, it can apply to anybody, but especially people that have scheduled pickups. Don't be uh, scared to let people know that you ain't got time to wait. Now there's a lot of these places and I've, I've witnessed this myself. They think you have all day. You get there at the time you're supposed to get there get your stuff and get out um, if they're working on one box maybe two you know go ahead and let them uh, finish it up but for the most part if it's like four or even I've seen up to 20 where someone's like hey can you come back tell them no <laughs> because you might have time that day to wait you might have time tomorrow to wait but one of those days when they have you waiting you're gonna have the busiest day of your life and you're gonna be struggling and they're gonna be like, well, you always wait, how come you can't wait today? <laughs> it happens all the time. It just, it happened today, actually. Um, person came up, he was like, we're working on two more, if you can just wait. I was like, all right, I got two minutes. Two minutes turned into six minutes, six minutes turned into eight. And I was like, hey man, uh, I gotta go. He was like, well, we got four more left. And I was like, I, I can't wait. I'm sorry. There's other businesses that literally close in 20 minutes that I got to be at. If I don't, you know, make it on time to that location, then I get in trouble. So he got really upset at me. Was like, oh, yeah, well, you're supposed to be here from four to six. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not supposed to be here from four to six. I have the earliest pickup time for me is four, which I get there at 430. And then the latest I can get there to pick it up is six. I told him, I kind of explained to him that the way my route is, this is the best time that makes it out for me because if I was to change it around, then that means other places I'm going at different times. Uh, it could be possibly running late and you just, it causes a big headache. You make one, if you wait for one person, then you're waiting for everyone eventually. And uh, we don't have time for that. We got to get our stuff and go, especially my route. You see all these boxes back here? I gotta bring her back to the station. So that's number five for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just something I thought of real quick. That incident happened literally like an hour ago today. 
And like I said, I apologize to that guy. I wish I could wait um, until he was done because I, I don't like getting people upset, um, but it's just how the job is. If I was to be able to wait, you know, it, it'd make me run more behind and it's getting me in trouble. So as you can see, I'm losing light. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I'm almost done with the day. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And don't be on your phone and driving. This is for educational purposes only. Can't talk.